Today I am going to talk about National Digital Library of India app sign up, registration and how to access books and contents from there. And for that you have to download first of all the app of National Digital Library of India. So let's go to the downloading of apps of National Digital Library of India and let's start a week's tutorial. You have to write on Google Play Store National Digital Library of India or you can write NDLI to download the app. I'm just writing on the Play Store. This is the icon that you can see on the screen. You have to install it. I'm going to install it. Uh, let's have a zoom view of that app and the icon so that you can be misled. Uh, you cannot download the wrong app and it's been downloaded. In order to sign up to National Digital Library of India, you just need one thing that is you have to search any document. And suppose you are searching any document that you can see on the screen that I am searching with the term metaphysics and I want to download these books. To download books from National Digital Library of India, you have to have a login ID and password and you have to log in first. Because until you log in, they will not let you download any access depending on their policy and terms and conditions. Uh, there are some icons you have to be aware of and you can see these icons details in my description box and you, I am requesting you to, to watch the description box and if you are looking for documents on metaphysics that I am looking for it will be directing you to the search retrieval phase I am downloading this document that is metaphysics Institute for Social and Economic Change is a source and it is written by Harman Lodze. Let's see what happens if I want to download this document. You can see this document is this is the metadata page as you can see and at the very bottom of the page you will see that login to open. Let's see what happens if you are clicking on login to open it will direct you to the sign up page there is another procedure through which you can download documents or through which you can sign up to national digital Library of india database that is at the very first when i started this tutorial i have told you that at the very home page you will see on the very left button that i can show you on the screen that is there is an option login and you have to click on login and it will be directing you to the same database and same page I should say same interface of sign up and from there you have to sign up first if you are not already a member of National Digital Library of India and for that sign up you will see that there are some fields you have to fill up that is first name, last name, email address, password, confirm password this is a very simple form for the willing members so that it will be very easy for them to fill the uh, form you have to put the date of birth your gender details and state and then your city educational role and in educational role you will see some very amazing kind of feature over there that is from one to post graduate you will see that they have every option every kind of member or every person can be a member of National Digital Library of India. Let me tell you one thing that NDLI has provided two options for their registration. Number one is personal registration and number two is institutional membership. And in institutional membership, you can upload the details of a bulk user. If you are a teacher, if you are a librarian, or if you are that kind of person who are, are having who is having so kind of so many database and so many students to enroll in National Digital Library of India? I think institutional membership is the best option for you, and I'll be showing in this tutorial how to upload the bulk user for the institutional membership access. And if you are doing this, you are opening the gateway of these many documents, class and course of documents to the students and to the other learners of the of your attendance.
to add bulk user first of all you have to create a database of your students and for that you have to write at the very first column the email address of the students and then first name and then last name now i am going to save this you have to save the file as a csv file that is comma separated file and i am going to name the file as ndli sign up 1 and I'm going to save it at the desktop of my computer let me tell you one thing you can select only 1000 fields at a time and if you have more than 1000 users you have you can use separate file and then I'm going to write National Digital Library of India on Google to upload this file it's a very simple procedure just one click one th more than thousands of users can get their registration to national digital library of india database now at the very first we have to log in i'm going to log in first with my credentials that is login id and password as you can see and then i have to put the security code or capture value and then login once you log in you will get the option of add user at the very bottom of the page of national digital library of india there you have to click add user as i'm showing you you can see select csv file option where i'm going to select there are some instructions you can see as i have saved it on desktop i'm just going to bring the document or up to upload it it's ndli sign up i'm going to select it and then all that you have to do you have to upload it and with this upload the users will get notifications on their email id there is one option single user re registration with some simple fields and there are some other options add user and status you can see the status of the users over there it's a very fantastic procedure from national digital life of india there is another way to add bulk user that is bulk registration for that you have to send the email uh, to an email to the ndl support team of the database that you have created of your students i'm going to log out and once you have uploaded the database the details of your students they will get an email id just like this there would be a login id and password as you can see on the screen they have to click on the link been provided on the email id and this is it now let's see what happens if you are already logged in to the document i am putting the details of mine that is login id and password and let's see what happens if i already am logged in and i want to download the books just see that if i after logging in if i want to download the book this login option has been turned into open option and you have to click on open and through clicking on it you, your document will be downloaded if you like my video do subscribe my channel to get in touch always with me just hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.